Hello, I'm going to show you how to make like a force field so if you're standing in the green you're safe. If you go into the yellow it sends you a warning and if you go into the red it teleports you up high enough where you die. Um, that's accomplished by this little redstone circuit that I made. You don't need this and you don't really need this repeater right here you just need the comparator and then you could put your block your command block right here where this is but I just wanted this because I was testing something so the command we're going to be using is test 4 and then it's going to search for all the players within a minimum radius of 5 and a maximum radius of 6 so if any player gets within 5 to 6 blocks away from 0, 56, 0, and they're in the game mode 0, which is survival, it will send a redstone signal out and tell anyone within that same radius of the same coordinates this command, or this sentence. Okay, so once they get past there, I have another set up just like this that is scanning for the red blocks so it's saying anyone within a minimum radius of seven and a maximum radius of eight I recommend those two are farther apart though this number and this number are farther apart just because it's um, really easy to jump past the boundary if it's not wider and it's also height sensitive too it draws almost a sphere around not just a flat radius like a cylinder one layer so now it's testing one block farther than this one is and if it finds anyone within that block radius it will send a signal out and teleport them to the center of that location you can specify wherever you want I just have it set a hundred blocks high so they fall fifty blocks down and die because command blocks can't kill they can't use a slash kill command so, let me explain it from this view. This circuit right here is detecting the yellow. So, you're safe in the green, but as soon as it sees anyone within a six, I think it's, I think I have it set to six or seven radius, which is the yellow. So, if you're within six to seven blocks in that specified area, it will send you the message. If you're in 7 to 8, or I think that's what I have it set to, it will um, teleport you up here and drop you down and kill you. This would be great for Hunger Games or Survival Games, however you want to call them. So you wouldn't have to do like a huge glass dome because those take up a lot of resource, like computer intensive. They're very computer intensive, and if you don't have a good computer you're working on, you'd never be able to put a big dome up. You'd have to do it by hand, which would be awful. So I'm just going to show you how it works. I have it set so I have to be in survival. And it's going to send me a message. You are leaving the safe zone. You must turn back. And then if I go in the red, it teleports me up and kills me. Excuse me. Okay, so like if I jump up, I, it's sensitive like the spear. I just told you guys that. So if I get up high enough right here, and it senses me. Come on. Okay. And it sensed me because the sphere is kind of curved. It like isn't a square box, it's curved. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty much a video. I was thinking if you could actually do this, and you actually can. Um, this is in the snapshot 13W03A. Um, that's a great command, and I hope everyone gets to use it. Thanks for watching the video. Bye.